hyphenation is used at the ends of lines to break longer words into smaller pieces and then link them together with a dash or a hyphen so that you get a little better edge on the right side. Let's just zoom in here a little bit. Just like that. And let's take a look at this text block. Go up here to text and you'll find your hyphenation settings right down here. Let's click on use hyphenation. I'm not seeing any hyphenation on this one. Let's see if the other section has any. And I don't see any hyphenation here either actually. Let's see if we can, can force it to give us a hyphen in here. There we go. Right there. Sanctus, a little Sanctus bit. That is an example of hyphenation. It's right there you go. So you can see where it's hyphenated and it breaks that longer word into two shorter pieces, giving us a little smoother edge on the right hand side. So that's using hyphenation. If I uncheck hyphenation, that then comes be becomes one word. You can see we have two long lines now sticking out, so it's a little bit smoother. It's going to depend upon the words in your document and so forth, how, how they're laid out, whether or not hyphenation is going to be doing anything for you. You can control the hyphenation settings down here under the hyphenation settings dialog box give us a chance to come up here and we'll then take a look at that there we go you can choose to automatically hyphenate paragraph text or not you can choose to break capitalized words or not normally you'd, you'd leave capitalized words unbroken you can break words using all caps or not it's up to you and then you can choose the criteria minimum word length minimum characters before a hyphenation and minimum characters after a hyphenation and distance from the right margin. So all of these will control exactly how the hyphenation is acting when you're using the hyphenation. So there you go. That's how to work with the hyphenation settings. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.